welcome to this video here I'll be showing you how you perform uh, an encryption and decryption in Windows operating system okay so right here in the folder called um, secure which is in the G drive I have two files that's text files and um, a folder called document with three extra files one is the web document one is a text file and one is a zip compressed word file now right here guys how do I encrypt these files and folder? I have to go over to the command line interface. Okay, so right here, right here, we'll switch into the G drive and then uh, we we'll, we'll move into the secure folder where we have the files to encrypt. A folder to encrypt. Okay, so I have a file to encrypt here, so I'll say cipher. Slash e to encrypt okay guys so this encrypts just the files if you look at this carefully you realize that the files have been encrypted here but the folder when we go in there it contents are not encrypted yet so we need to go back to the command line and then we switch into the document folder and then also perform the encryption over there okay guys so here when we go over to the document you realize that our files are now encrypted normally in Windows operating system when you perform encryption it asks you to back up the, the key that comes in line with the user account that you're using to encrypt in case you lose the, the, the account the user account and you can use it to recover your files but before I show you how to decrypt I want us to use a different user account to access these same files Okay, and see if you would be able to access it. So right now, I'm going to go over to a different user account on the same PC. It could be on the same network with you, if you're on a network. Okay, just a different user would not be able to access these files. Let's try that and see. All right, guys, we're logged in with the different user. So let's see how we can access the files in our drive G. So this is a drive G right here. And we'll go over to the secure you see the files here and um, the G drive when this user tries to access the file one it gets a message says access access is denied okay so basically this guy who encrypted his files is totally secured okay when he goes into the file T he can't access wow so the guy who encrypted his files is very secure. What about the document? Oh, you can get into the document. All right. Can I access the compressed file? Let's see. Oh, you got a you got an error saying file permission problem. Okay. What about the web document then? Okay. Web document is popping up. It says uh, user does not have privileges to access the file. It's as simple as that. Okay. What about the important? Yeah, it's also a text file. You can access. So definitely, guys, you see how simple this is. All right, so this come in handy at any time. Um, you can basically use it. Um, the best part is it works with your local user account on the computer, and um, it's very powerful. So right now, guys, you realize that he, this user cannot access any of. Um, the files that have been encrypted by a different user so now how do we decrypt so we are back here now how do we decrypt these files we encrypted we want to decrypt it we no longer want to encrypt the files what do we do we get back to our command line interface okay I'm going to go out one time in this folder so I'm in the secure folder how do I decrypt you can use the same process by saying cipher this time around you see forward slash d decrypt you see that it says decrypting files now guys it says decrypted file one file two and document but please take note the document over there let me yes that it has decrypt it has decrypted file one and file two okay now everyone can actually access it now what about documents you realize that the documents folder the files in there are still encrypted how do we decrypt that as well we can go over 
into the document folder here and then run the same command to take the files there okay it says decrypting files and the files were decrypted okay so right now when you go into that folder you realize that what the document folder its files has been what decrypted so guys i believe you enjoyed this video why not give it a subscribe button click and like and uh, comment and if you have any questions why not you can place in the comment box and we'll get to it bye see you in a different video